The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I charted the, uh, posted the charts of the DAX and also the FTSE today. You can see they've been in a downtrend. And, of course, we're having a really, really strong rally here. We're going to talk about that because uh, we owe Mr. Uh, Bartoleone, Jim Bartoleone from Bart's Charts, some really good heads up on that apple. And we'll, we'll just go right into that right now. Uh, by the way, our guest at halftime will be Paula Douglas, and that'll always be a lot of fun. But what we're going to do now is to uh, talk about what Bart talked about uh, last week, when, not last week, let's try Monday, when we were making this. Let's get it up here because we. this is, to me, this was the key to this big rally coming. I'll walk through it the way I see it, but, you know, what the heck. It's just two cents worth. Anyway, this is what Bart was looking at. This was the hourly chart. You can see that line. That you know connects those dots right at the top. That's a 20 min line. It 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 had everything set up, folks. But if it traded above 49, uh, 149, there was something wrong because the number was so accurate that it just should not have done that. And it did it. And when it did it, that told us that the market was probably getting ready to go higher. And that's the real reason of you know why we're watching some of these things. Let's get this other one up here. Okay, I think that's it. All right, now uh, let's move on to uh, Apple uh, on the daily because I want to uh, – I'm getting these numbers. I have to turn the phone off here, folks. Just a minute here. I'm getting uh, beeping messages and stuff. So we have a uh, – hold on just a second. little family situation back there in Terre Haute that I have to take care of. This is what we're looking at here. It was all set up perfectly. You see the back off that we had here? Yesterday, we got down to 44 after we hit 48. And at that time, you know, we were listening. I was always trying to listen to Basil because, uh, you know, as I'm working, doing my work, I, I have it turned on. I don't get to watch the charts or anything. But uh, just hold on one second. I, somebody's panicking here. So <laughs> just give me a second. I'm getting um, Skype messages here that uh, from home, and I want to make sure that there's uh, not a problem anywhere. So let's just move on here to a second here. And hold on just a minute here. Uh, okay, uh, hold on just a second, folks. I'm sorry, but I, the only way I can get this show done is to do certain things, uh, you know, uh, right now. Hold on. <laughs> and then I'll be right with you just a minute. Ah, uh, shucks. And if I only knew it. You know, I was married to a typing teacher, and uh, I still don't know how to type. Okay. All right. Now let's move on. I turn that thing off and we'll be okay. You can see Apple. Once that broke out, that was really good. But there was other things that were telling us that the market was probably making a bottom. And it was right at the time we were on the air yesterday. So let's get this up here to take a look at it. And I think we'll be able to see it here. This is it. We'll take a look at the, the – this is, happens to be the Dow Jones, folks, because I want to share some information with you. Uh, I have, you know, I, when I talk about Fibonacci numbers and patterns and stuff like that, a lot of people, uh, you know, th they think they're very skeptical and they don't believe it. Hey, that's fine. You know, I have no problem with that. But take a look at this, folks. You can see here we were making a three drive to a bottom pattern on that uh, smaller. There's a small chart, five minute. But look, you're making a, a three drive pattern. There's drive one, drive two, drive three right at the bottom. You're taking out the July or the June lows. You know, and that didn't mean very much, did it? And look what happened. We had this big run up, and then we had a 382 retracement last night. And then today, right when that report came out, right at another 382 to the tick. I mean, I'm not talking, this is a index that sells for 30,000. It went to the exact point. Now, do that many people understand what the 382 pattern is? I don't know. All I know that, you know, that's just one example. Let's just move on here. Take a look at a couple others. I sent these out because these were, these were very. This was early in the morning, about 2:30, when I uh, got these, 
and I wanted to uh, uh, share them with everybody. But look what happened. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. These are two markets. We got crude oil. Look at that. To the exact tick, it stops. And it went, you can see where it is now. I mean, we went way, way, way above it. And if you looked what happened intraday, it made another one right there. Now, look at the euro right there, okay? Now, the euro, I, hold, hold on just a minute. There's something real busy here. I don't know what that is. Oh, boy, everybody's calling me today, so I'm not going to. Not going to worry about it. <laughs> oh, how do you turn this thing off? Just a minute. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. If you have any questions, I'll be, I will try to answer the best I can, and then we'll move on. But I have to show you a couple other of these because, the, to me, uh, and I'm biased, you know, because I sort of like this stuff, but it's it's really really very important. Here is the let's get this up here today. I wanted to show you uh, something very very important, uh, and I want to make sure I get it correct. It's this one right here, I think. Uh, nope, that's it. Uh, yeah, this is the one I want to show you right here. This is today. I blew this up because this was very important because this market was was really telegraphing that it wanted to go higher. Look at the 382 retracements in there. This was one early in the morning, probably around 2.30 or 3. And this one, of course, was around 6.30 when that, 5.30 when the report came out. And, of course, we went way off the top of the page on this and we're continuing to have a big rally. So that's what we're paying attention to here today. So we need to watch it. The, the, if you're in the corn position, it's working well. Just keep your stop in, lock in at least a $500 profit and uh, let it rip because we're in the growing season. And if any slight little variation happens, it's going to be really, really lights out over there. And you want to, want to be able to uh, pay very close attention to that. Now, I want to bring another chart up to you because this is really quite important from uh, and I'll, I'll go through because I'm, I'm trying to get the copper folks but I'm trying to do it in a way that makes sense so give me a second here so we'll walk through this together as we look at this let get this up here hello operator there we go okay all right there's the wheat market folks can you believe this I mean look at this I mean, how do you get a market that is, goes limit up, limit up, and up there trading up there around $13, $13, $14, okay? And then today, you take out the July lows at the $7.96. I mean, somebody's either feeding somebody a bunch of bologna or the bologna is more than like shizis. That's all, that's all I'm saying. I got a – well – Look at the pattern here, folks. Look at the pattern up here. We talked about that. Then you come down, you make a 382, and then you collapse. Now, everybody wanted wheat a month ago, right? Now, nobody wants it. So, I don't know. All I do is look at the charts. People ask me, do you, do you watch the news? I watch the news because I have it on mute, but I watch for alerts. You know, if uh, the prime minister of Japan gets shot, I want to know that. I want to see how the end reacts, but that's it. The rest of it. Doesn't make any difference. We're going to take a break. 877 927 6648. We're going to talk about copper next. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a trip down memory lane here with uh, copper because uh, something very important has happened in copper. And I, hey, this is from a number standpoint. I don't know diddly squat about the fundamentals, could care less. But here's a daily chart uh, on copper. And as you can see here, we made that big ABCD high there at $5 a pound. Then we made the 135 pattern and then the Gartley right here before the big collapse. And look what's happened to copper, folks. I mean, it's falling out of bed. You would think the stock market would be trading 2,000 points lower if Dr. Copper is right, okay? Stocks are acting a whole lot better. Basil Chapman made that comment yesterday, which I thought was apropos, the fact that copper was dropping so much, and yet it uh, was not affecting the stock market at all. That's why you gotta, if you're going to trade copper, trade copper. If you're going to trade stocks, trade stocks. And folks, I tell you, I, I, I shouldn't, because I really, I'm a technician. I don't care. The news that they tell me, I don't, you know, I, I listen to it when it's, uh, you know, what I think might be market moving. Yeah, then I'll take a look at it. Somebody's assassinated, devaluation, something like that. I'm going to do it. But other than that, folks, all I do is look at numbers. And uh, that's it. Now, here, we're going to go on the weekly chart on copper. Gives you a clear picture of where we are right now. Uh, this is for you, Mr. Z, because I know you're watching this very, very closely. We'll get this up here so we can see it. There we go. Okay, there's the weekly chart on copper. Now, we made a low last night of 313, and the, the Fibonacci number, this is on the weekly, folks. This is on the weekly. The Fibonacci number on that was 317. I, d I thought we were trading a tad above that right now, but... You know, if that doesn't hold, you, you can see it went through the 50% like it didn't exist, and it's gone a little bit below the seven, the 618 here. But if we can hold this, and then it has got a chance to rally. So um, I, you know, I'm not buying copper. I'm just saying that it's much better to buy it here than way up here when you're making that three drive to a top pattern when all the news was bullish. And if you remember at that time. Uh, there were news items, I, I laughed at when I heard it, is that China owned 50% of the outstanding copper in the world. I heard that on, I believe it was CNBC or Bloomberg. I had one of the, one of the guests came on that uh, 
was a very very interesting. At Art Cashin used to be on quite a bit. Art and I, this Art and I are the same age. Unfortunately, his health is is deteriorating, and uh, I don't get to talk to him anymore. But one of the, my favorite quotes from Art Cashin was, he says, "Be very careful about listening to the recommendations of people that are not old enough to shave." And then he said. That includes the girls also, and I laugh so hard. That's when, when uh, <laughs> Mark, when Mark, when Mark, what was Mark's last name? Oh dear, Mark Haynes. When Mark Haynes was on, he was a good friend of, uh, of what, of uh, what you call it, uh, Art Cashin. I don't know if you know the story behind Mark Haynes, folks, but you know, uh, he was replaced by Joe Kernan. And was asked, he was actually fired. Is basically what happened. And he took it so bad, he died of a heart attack the next day. And, that, that, and I'm sure that's what brought it on. But he was, he was totally devastated. And I know I he was on for so long and was so good. Uh, I just, uh, I just was shocked, you know, the fact that he passed away that way. So, have to weigh a little bit differently here. Okay, we're gonna uh, get off of the charts a little bit. We're going back to Terre Haute, Indiana. So stay with me here. This is a part that I want to try to share with you. I'm going to try to get my sister to send a picture of John Dillinger with my uh, my mom and uh, her cousin. Now, this is from the uh, Terre Haute Tribune uh, newspaper back in 1958. That's me on the far right there. I was working with uh, – during the summertime, I was uh, 17, and I was working for uh, Mies, uh, Lou Mies at Mies Brothers. And uh, they had a Puritan sweaters. Uh, was coming in and people could buy sweaters. If you look up here, you can't read it because it's too small, but uh, you could put a dollar and a half down on layaway, folks, and the sweaters were around 15 bucks. But you could put a sweater away for a buck and a half. Now, what I'm going to show you here, they asked me to go to the, the, the five uh, high schools there in Terre Haute and get, uh, you know, the people that uh, – you know, were, were popular at the time, athletes or whatever, and so that's what I did. And if you notice the second from the right over there, that's Tommy John right there, I'm two years older than Tommy. He was a sophomore, and to the left of that is Kenny. Kenny uh, wrote uh, a bunch of songs that were in the top 40. He passed away pretty good. Mike uh, uh, Mike uh, Petty here, he was a cardiac surgeon in uh, – Indianapolis, and, and he passed away. Both of these guys played Major League Baseball. They got up for a cup of coffee, but um, that's pretty much it. But that's what we were we were doing. There's a flip side of this for the girls' sweaters, too, because I got the, the cheerleaders from the five big uh, high schools. But this this really, this is my connection to Larry Bird, folks. The reason why I'm bringing this. Lou Mies was the guy that hired Larry Bird when he came from French Lick after he dropped out of school at Indiana and gave him a job as a night watch watchman at uh, the Mies Brothers. I mean, I'll, I'll put that with a little tongue-in-cheek, okay? Anyway, when uh, and, uh, oh, I don't, you guys want to hear technical stuff. I'm getting flack about that, so hold on just a minute. We'll get back to the technicals. I th thought you'd have an interest in that, and I missed that one, so let's, let's go back to what you like. If you like 382s, boys and girls, I'm going to show you a couple others here. If you're having trouble with your trading, just learn how to do the three eight twos, and that'll that'll solve your problem. Let me let me ask you a simple question, folks. I've shown you about six or seven of these, and the major ones, you know, gold, crude oil, you know, the S and P, and uh, gold, gold, and, and 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 the euro, the euro being the biggest. How can the market go to those exact prices? I mean, within fifty bucks. How can it do that time after time? Now, sure, it loses. Yep, some of them don't work. But how can it go to those and stop and then turn? Now, that in itself should be something that you should pay attention to. The next time I do a uh, live trading day, which will be late in the fall probably, um, uh, that's I'm going to really try to drill that in just in a, in a simple trading system of what I'm doing. I spoke to Tom Hugard today. And uh, Tom has swings that he, most most human beings would not be able to comprehend what he does uh, with his trading because he trades, I'm talking six zeros minimum, okay? And he'll have swings of six zeros uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. And this past week, 
he's he's already said this on his telegram he, he loses a million dollars one day he makes a million and a half the next he loses a million one day he makes two million the next and today I could tell something in his voice was wrong and I asked him I said what is it and he said well he said I don't really talk about it I said I know what it is and he has he has trader fatigue and you know he's playing with the big boys I mean he's he uses huge positions I hope to have him on with the, the day trading thing just so you can see, you know, what he does with uh, money management and stuff. But for him to lose a million dollars, I mean, it's, it's really, you know, not, not that much at all. Now, this isn't managed money. This is his own personal money that he's made in the market. So, hey, we got a, we got a guest coming up here. Paul Douglas will be with us in just a little bit, and we'll see uh, how that works out. And we'll go uh, right from that level and – See what's moving on here. Hold on just a second, and we'll see where we are. Okay, I think we're moving along pretty good here. And uh, we got the stocks. Ooh, we got Dow, jump, Dow Jones up six. Hey, we'll be right back with uh, Paula Douglas, 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're lucky to have Paula Douglas, Paula Webb Douglas on the line today. Paula, how are you doing? Yourself, Larry. Oh, hanging in there okay. Guys, it's very, very clear. How are things over in California today? Everything all right? Everything's good. A little warm. Yeah, what <laughs> is it the there? Desert? About 100, 114 there in Palm Springs? Yes, yes. Yeah, 
Yes. That's a beautiful area. I used to hang out there when I lived in California, went to Palm Springs a lot. Boy, I tell you, there's so many, you know, celebrities that live down that way that, you know, there must be something. And it's really, uh, really a beautiful place with all the lakes and the beautiful palm trees and stuff. But it's getting a little overcrowded there, isn't it? Um, yeah, sort of. Um, but, yeah. you know, one thing is you can go to any restaurant and you, you do run into celebrities. Um, a couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine, we had lunch at Lulu's, which is right downtown, and uh-huh. we sat right next to Barry Manilow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. And, and he I, was I, he's super cool. Yeah. He didn't mind yeah. anybody coming over to the table and getting autographs and all that kind yeah. of stuff. He's just a happy guy. Can I tell the folks a story about Johnny Bench? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Paula was out shopping one day, and uh, there was a guy there, and he you know, he played baseball, and, uh, you know, he didn't. You know, he, 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 Sarah, excuse me, Sarah, I'm sorry, Paula, I got you mixed <laughs> up. Uh, she doesn't follow baseball very much. Well, not at all, actually. And so uh, she calls me up on her cell phone. She says, there's a guy here that, uh, that, uh, he says he's a baseball player and he wants to buy this expensive piece of furniture and stuff. And he was making some moves on you and stuff. And so, and she says, uh, I said, describe him. And he, I, she described it to me. And uh, I said, I think it's Johnny Bent. And if you ask him, and he said, "Yeah, he said, how did you know that?" And it was just by the description. Paula said the guy has huge hands, and he does. He can hold five baseballs in one hand, folks. Believe it or not. I mean, stop and think of that. That's just incredible. But he was a great player. Hey, what are we doing? We're talking away here. Let's talk about the markets. Or what do you have for the folks today, PT? Okay, so I've been talking to a lot of traders lately, and they keep talking about how they can't wait for things to calm down and get back to the way they were so they can just start trading normally again. And unfortunately, guys, you know, I'm not trying to be a downer here, but these are facts. There's no going back to prior to 2020. Okay, it's that has yeah. ended. So unfortunately, what we have to really adopt is the phrase, that, you know, that Mark and I have been teaching since the mid 1980s is that you never know what's going to happen in the market. You never ever. know. Okay. Ever, yeah. Ever, I mean, ever. you know this, Larry. We're, we're, you know, we've been over this in all our joint workshops and everything. Yeah. And, and especially nowadays, we have no idea what's going to happen pretty much in all areas of our lives. So the, the challenge for traders is there's an underlying current of uncertainty of not really, truly not knowing what's going to happen in the markets. And for those traders that haven't really adopted that belief, that they really don't know, that it's just an educated guess of a probable outcome, they really have to stop and, and realign their mindset into knowing that the only certainty right now is complete uncertainty. And that's, and, but that's the beauty of the markets, and that's why we get into the markets, because there's the potential for unlimited money, unlimited profit, more money than we've ever made before, right? So if we br- embrace the, the certainty of knowing anything can happen, meaning we can realize our wildest financial dreams, if we embrace that mindset, then the sky's the limit. Yeah, boy, that's for sure. The mindset is so very, very important. I remember even back in the days when you were in Chicago in the early 90s, when you were living up there at the penthouse there overlooking the lake, the traders would come in and he had usually about two or three traders a week would come in for their their consultation. And these, these were just... Uh, what we call uh, home run hitters. I mean, some of them were just, uh, you know, household names in the trading world. And they went through the same things that new, new traders have. I mean, it's, it's with you right. all the time. It's something that, you know, you it, because you don't know what's going to happen next, you have to train yourself to realize that you don't know. And it's no big deal because nobody else knows either. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, right. it was, it was it, truly it amazing. Not, that, yeah. yeah, it's it's not well, a matter yeah. of experience or how many years you've been trading. It, it has yeah. nothing to do with the equation. You just have to understand that I'm going to do my best with my analysis and and use my system to the best of my ability, follow my rules, but still understand that it's a probable outcome on every single trade or set of trades you put on. But that's kind of exciting, too. It's like you never know yeah. what's going to happen. So it's like, yeah. boom, hey, yeah. this is kind of awesome. It's it's not a, a, a boring yeah. job, is it? 
<laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's 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 incredible, actually. Is, is it okay if I share the story about how uh, Mark worked with Robert St. John? He, he was sure. probably the number three uh, bond trader during the time, you know, when bonds were crazy during the 80s and 90s. And Robert would make, in the first hour of trading, he would make uh, as much as maybe a million, million and a half. That wasn't unusual, was it, Paula? To him to make that yeah, kind of money. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, he then, he would have like one trade would be quarter of a million, you know. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. And so what happened was he would make the money in the first two hours of trading bonds, and then the next three hours of trading he would give a half or all of it back. Right. And and so I remember, and, and Robert was such a low key guy, you know. Mark said to him, he said, "Look, it's really simple. You only work two hours." You know, you work from seven. To, you only work from seven to nine, and that's it. And he says, "Well, what am I going to do?" He says, "Go shopping." He said, "Do something." He said, "You're going <laughs> to," and he did that for a couple of weeks. And oh my God, he made uh, he made so much money that it was uh, incredible, and, and under the worst possible uh, circumstances. So, anyway, those were some of the people. I, I'm sorry for interrupting, dear, but please continue. No, it's okay. Yeah. No, I mean, and that's a good point you bring up because, you know, I, I teach this to, to traders and I say, look, you know, find out what days of the week and what hours of the day you had most of your winning trades and then just focus on those days and those hours. You don't have to be in the market 24-7 or, or seven days a week to, to make money. And I tell them about Robert St. John and, and the Richard Dennis's and the, the, yeah. the J. Alexander Stevens. I, I tell them with these people that we worked with, not Richard Dennis, but the other guys. And it's like they, they don't believe it. And they say, well, you have to be in it to win it. And I, whoever coined yeah. that phrase, I'd really like to strangle because, you know, yeah. that's, that's not true. Yes, you have to be in a trade to make money, but you don't have to be in it 24-7. That's uh, so, Well, thanks that's, for bringing that up. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, do you have any specials for the folks? I know you, you offer them free consultation if they call in to see what's wrong with their trading and stuff. Right. Uh, you know, and anybody from the show, you know, are going to get 20% off uh, any of our products or services that you purchase okay. through us, not elsewhere on the Internet. Thank you. Okay. And um, – you know, just keep in mind that, you know, as we move forward through these uncharted waters, uh, basically political waters, let's be honest, um, you know, just remember to inhale the future and exhale the past. As you know, Larry, Mark was huge on meditation, huge. Oh, I mean, yeah. two hours yeah, a day sure minimum. And yeah. he, he and I could not have accomplished what we have accomplished so far without doing that. It, it yeah. comes from a space of centering and knowing what you're thinking. And, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm really focusing on right now is if you don't know what you think and why, then you yeah. can't take profit and keep it. And almost that's every right. trader that calls me up, I tell this to. Okay. PT, thanks for joining us, dear. We'll have you on again soon. Okay. Be safe. Super. Sounds great. Stay you cool. Too. Stay cool. Paul and okay. Douglas, folks. We'll be right back. 877 927 6648. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I put the chart up of the monthly euro. Now, I we're going to give you a little bit of homework to do because if you will take a look at this part of the down move in the euro, okay? If you go to the weekly, uh, this is the weekly, and month, this is the monthly. But go to the weekly and look at this part here on the way down because if you measure in the ABC, I, and I, I I know you get tired of seeing ABCDs all the time. I don't, but most people do. Anyway, you, if you if you look at this time frame, this is over the past six, uh, the last year and a half, we have broken you know from way up here 114 and whatever it is. Now we're down to par. We went below par, but the reason why we went below par, if you look at the weekly chart. It will show you that the low that we made yesterday at that nine, uh, it was 0.979, I believe, was a perfect number uh, looking at this on the weekly chart. Do it yourself. That would be a, a really good thing to, uh, you know, take a look at. So that's the main thing you want to be watching as you're looking at some of this stuff that it's uh, it's really quite exciting when you when you do take a look at it. So let's, uh, boy, I, I, gee whiz, a the uh, corn has moved down on the day, folks, so make sure that you have your stop in here because, uh, you know, it was up at 6.09 a little while ago, I think, somewhere in that area. So if it gets to that area again, then, uh, you know, you want to be uh, you want to be able to stand aside and, and see uh, see what happens with it. So that's uh, primarily what we're looking at here <clears throat> this morning. And uh, we'll go down. Boy, I just realized that uh, someone just told me that wheat's down 21 cents. Folks, realize here that we were thir just, two, just two months ago, there was no wheat in the world, remember? And uh, now we have wheat down at below $8, so it's dropped $20,000 per contract, and nobody in the world uh, wants it. So uh, anyway, that's uh, you know here and there, but... Uh, you know, I, I just look at the patterns. You know, we broke down below the July below the July lows, and now we're getting ready to. We're going to be cascading down. It looks like more. So I am going to uh, keep my eye on the wheat, but uh, right now it's just uh, not quite uh, up to snuff. So we want to watch that uh, very very closely here. Okay, now. Let's uh, move on to, to the another one that I wanted to cover. Hold on just a second. By the way, I will be doing David White's show today at two o'clock. Uh, David's a tad bit under the weather, so I will be uh, I will be covering that uh, quite a bit. Let's move on over here uh, to the crude oil because this was what we were watching earlier in the week. Let's get this up so we can see it here, and we'll be able to see it relatively clearly. And there we go, right there. 
All right. Okay, as you can see it here, we had this 135 pattern. There's 135 right at the 3A2. And folks, we went all the way down to 91. We made this very large ABCD down here at 91. And from there, that was the day uh, on, on Wednesday where we had a $14,000 yeah, 14, move. Uh, in crude oil, we were down five, up eight. That's thirteen, and in between there was a two thousand dollar move. So we'll figure thirteen thousand dollars up and down, and we continue to go higher. And when when you start to see these really wild swings like that, there's a way to try to stand in front of it or at least look for it. Okay, and that way is the three eight two pattern. And if you do that, you know, it's going to help you. Let's just, just, just to show you again, I'll bring it up from uh, what we were doing just a little while ago at the beginning of the show, because to me, it's that important to pay attention to it. Unfortunately, this was happening at three o'clock in the morning. And you'll notice there we went to the exact price on the, on the crude oil right there. That was an exact 382. And from that level, we've gone $3 higher. And look at the euro right here. Right, exactly 382. This is the largest traded thing in the world. And from there, we went $1,400 higher. So there is what we're watching. From that, you want to pay some very, very close attention to it because uh, it's, uh, it's important enough uh, that you see it so often that you really have to pay attention to, uh, you know, to what, you're, what you're looking for. So let's, uh, let's look at that. When you, we're talking about the corn and the wheat and stuff like that, beans are down. You know, folks, we're starting to see you know, non-inflationary things happening over there in the, uh, in the grain markets uh, and then also in the meat markets. So maybe the, the agricultural part is uh, off base or something's not right, but we're in the middle of the, gro the growing season with not really good conditions, and yet the grains are breaking. That tells you that uh, maybe the orders for you know the stuff to Europe and, and South America and Africa and stuff are not going to happen. I don't know what that is, but have to pay attention to it. So no matter what, make sure you lock in a profit on your corn of at least 500 bucks, and then let it go because if, if it's wrong, you want to just stand inside and don't mess with it. It's just not uh, it's just not worth it. By the way, with someone that, well, I can't do that because I can't get an answer. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. And I wanted to share one other uh, futures with you here. Hold on that uh, we don't see very often, but I want it. It's down in an area. You talk about a, a commodity that's gotten actually whacked really badly here. If you come up and take a look at this, you'll see that this is uh, cocoa. And look at cocoa, folks. We had a beautiful three drive to a top way back here, as you can see. We had a beautiful garden. Look at the, on the way down, just one after another, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. And if you have some time, take a look to see which ones were 382s. And now we're getting very, very close to three drive to a bottom, matching the bottom. Well, actually, we've taken the bottom out of the last uh, several months well going back to the last eight or nine months so we look for a start looking for a place to buy cocoa down in here as you can see we're very very close to a spot where maybe it might even be today but i don't daily look at cocoa only uh, every week do i look at it but we're getting close to that so pay uh, pay sort of close attention to that and uh, i think you'll uh, you might learn something and you might even make a couple bucks on it and cocoa trades really nicely the margins are good and you don't have to uh, worry too much about the Fed or anything like that. But keep an eye on that cocoa because I'm going to be looking at that uh, during the show that I'm going to be doing for David today. David White at uh, one at 11 o'clock. Let's make it two o'clock <laughs> Eastern time, 11 o'clock my time, and I'll be I'll be going over cocoa and a few others uh, commodities that we were looking at. And also I'm going to do some foreign exchange. We need to look at the dollar index along with the Japanese yen, the Australian dollar, and some of the others that uh, you know that are that are very very important. So. That's, uh, that's, that's skinny on that. And we got the, let me see, I got a quick update on the Dow Jones, only up 600. The NASDAQ up about 190, S&P up uh, 69 and rising. And that's uh, pretty much it. While well, we got wheat is now down 25 cents. Holy moly. This is, uh, I'm afraid we're going to get stopped out here. Another three cents in the, uh, in the wheat or the corn, we're going to get stopped out with a nice profit, 500 bucks, but you know, we had a little more than that at one time, so we're going to keep a very, very close eye on that. 
Okay, uh, someone asked a question about the Apple. Folks, I looked at Apple only because it's the largest stock traded and so many people own it. Jim Bartolioni alerted me to the fact of that 382. Once it went above it, you know, I don't know why it went above it, but I said many times, if we get above, you know, 149, this pattern is wrong and it's going higher. And that's exactly what happened. You know, we had some great patterns yesterday, and the key was what Basil talked about, and the VIX couldn't even go up with the Dow down 600 points. Couldn't take out the previous day's high. Nobody was scared. Amen. 877-927-6648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted this chart of December wheat, and as you can see, uh, the high that we made up here uh, a month or so ago, you see, was a beautiful one, two, three, drive to a top pattern. As you can see, we went up to the, well, we came right down to the 382 again, to the exact penny, folks, in something that's trading, that time was trading at 11 $12 a bushel. We just broke $8 a bushel a little while ago. And look, we had this really strong rally here. On Friday, and the market comes down and takes that low out and continues to go lower. This basically looked like what the bond market looked like when they were telling us that there was, you know, going to be negative interest rates, which uh, never made any sense to me. But, you know, they, some of the people believed it, and you can see what happened to the bond market. Bond market's actually rallying today along with stocks. 
And so everybody's looking, uh, everything's rosy, and that's really good, too. The volatility that we're having is just superb. You can't ask for anything better than that. But uh, that's neither. You have to pick out what you want to trade and stick with it. And I know sometimes you hear people give you information about, uh, you know, what, uh, you know, somebody's going to talk and tell us the interest rates are going to go higher. That doesn't mean anything, folks. What means anything is how the market reacts to it. So that's the main thing. By the way, those of you that are having trouble, you know, with the middle part of this, give Paula Douglas a call. And uh, she's really good. She's, well, she should be good. She worked with Mark for 30 years. And, uh, you know, so if you have a you know, question, she'll give you a, a free consultation and give you a chance to maybe, you know, clear your head out and, uh, you know, get moving in the, in the right direction. I'm going to end the show here with the... Uh, a chart for natural gas because you talk about a market that is uh, really uh, the, and this is a just a 60 minute chart but here again if you really want to just look at this now folks I did this Sunday okay now all you have to do to go home and look at this this is the natural gas trade on an hourly chart and I, I said watch this on, on Sunday night and you can see uh, that was the low and it rallied ten thousand dollars from that hey, we'll see it uh, on the flip side tomorrow. I'll be doing a, the show at uh, 2 o'clock for David White. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.